Hey Molly, so I went on Instagram and I asked people to ask you questions for today's video for a Q&A. Why? Come on, it'll be fun, okay? You just have to lay there and answer the questions, all right? Okay, question number one is, will you be in Stacy's new book? Yup, I'm in Stacy's new book, Wild Rescuers Escape to the Mesa. I'm actually the star of it, as I should be. I don't know why I wasn't in book number one. I still need to talk to Stacy about that. Molly, come over here. Come over here and buy the book so I can I can film you by the... Molly, come here. Molly. Okay, Molly, the next question is, what is your favorite spot in Stacy's house? My favorite spot in the house is this ottoman. I like to spread my white hair all over it and lay here for hours and hours and do nothing all day. Okay, um, all right, so the next question is, what is your favorite activity? I don't think it'll come as any surprise that my favorite activity is sleeping. I try to get in about 18 to 19 hours of sleep a day uh, when Stacy doesn't bother me like she's doing right now. Leave me alone. Okay, Molly, last question. What is it like being a diva dog? It's like pretty hard to be a diva dog, uh, but I'm, I'm making do and I'm getting by. Please subscribe. Thank you. Okay, Molly. Um, well, you, you know, you gave it your best shot. It, it's okay. It's, it's okay, Molly. Classic Molly. <laughs> uh, okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little Molly q and I didn't really know how many responses I would get on Instagram. I got so many. I'm gonna be answering them uh, probably for the next week. So I would actually love to do a longer version of that uh, and maybe do it also with Milk Toast and Pipsqueak uh, additions as well. So let me know if that's something that you would like. My Instagram account is Stacy Grams, but I also have a Stacy Plays Instagram uh, as well. So I will link both of those down below. I wanted to answer a few of them that I didn't get to. The first one was, how long have you lived with Stacy, and what made you choose her? So Molly didn't actually choose me. I chose Molly and I rescued her in August of 2011. Somebody asked what tricks Molly knows and when, during that clip where I was trying to get her to come and pose by my book, uh, it actually dawned on me that uh, Molly doesn't know any tricks. Like I don't even think Molly really knows how to sit. Like she will sit, but I don't think she even knows the command sit. And I think that the reason for this is because my dog Paige was always so smart and I could teach her any kind of trick. Sit, stay, speak. I could teach her how to go uh, get her leash. I could tell her to go take a drink of water. Like she was just so smart that I think when I got Molly, I was just like, well, you're never gonna learn that many tricks. So I just won't even try to teach you that many tricks. Uh, but actually I think I taught her no tricks. So that's, I don't know. Can you teach an old dog new tricks? I'm not sure, but that's just like another reason she's a diva is that she never had to learn anything. Speaking of Paige, a lot of the questions for Molly were about if she misses Paige. I know I miss Paige so much every single day. Uh, I have like a little lion necklace on because she was my she was my little lion um and i don't know really if molly misses Paige. i can't ask her um i think molly misses having another dog around but molly's always been kind of Paige and molly had an interesting relationship i think that molly misses Paige. um uh, she always liked Paige much more than Paige liked her. There's a vlog of me, I can't remember which vlog it is on my vlogging channel, of me moving into the cabin and Molly's like trying to cuddle Paige and like sniff her and Paige is just like growling at her. It's like one of my favorite memories. Someone else asked if Molly has ever run away and I believe if you type in YouTube, Molly, run, Molly ran away or Molly runs away, there's a vlog on my vlogging channel of the only time that Molly did run away, scared me to death. Uh, but she was a good girl and I got her back. It was scary though. Someone asked if she gets along with Pip and Molly actually gets along really well with the cats. Like I wouldn't say she likes the cats and the cats don't want to hang around Molly, but you can tell that the cats feel more comfortable with Molly than they felt with Paige. With Paige, the cats felt like 
this dog might try to eat us if we get too close. And with Molly, they just know like, mm, Molly's just gonna do her thing and we just have to stay away from her. And so everyone kind of is getting along and is, you know, pretty, pretty cool with each other. Someone asked Molly what her favorite things are to chase in the Mesa. And that's a really good question. So there's a lot of quail in the Mesa. And that's kind of the thing that we see most on our walks is quail and jackrabbits. And Molly gets excited about both and wants to chase them. But she, you know, she's also kind of getting a little bit old. She's like eight years old. And so oftentimes on the walks, she just kind of plods along. Just kind of like, I think she's so mad that I'm forcing her to exercise that she just doesn't really like pay that much attention. She likes to walk in the middle of the road. Whereas like Paige or like Polly likes to walk on the side so they can like smell all the smells. Molly's just like, let's get this over with. Okay, someone else asked her, how long have you been this sassy? So Molly is nicknamed the diva and that's why she has like a little tiara on her plushie because uh, when I first got her, her name was Diva. And I was like, I can't, I can't call my dog. I can't be like, here Paige, here Diva. Like it just didn't really fit. Uh, so I named her Molly, but she really is a diva. She really is. She, the name suited her and I should have kept it probably. Oh, okay, someone asked if there was a story behind her name, and there is. So Molly's ears reminded me of pigtails, and my favorite American Girl book was, uh, or my favorite American Girl was Molly McIntyre, and Molly always wore her hair in like braided pigtails, so I named her Molly. If I hadn't named her Molly, I was going to name her Scout, and I think that would have been a cute name for her too. Someone else asked, where is the furthest that Molly has ever traveled? So when I rescued Molly, she was living in Washington, D.C. And I went there and got her. And then she lived with me for a while in Virginia. And then I guess the furthest she traveled was, um, did I take her on an airplane? I must have taken her on an airplane to Los Angeles. But I don't remember this at all. Like I feel like Molly would have been, I took Paige on like many, many airplane trips. And I remember taking Polly on an airplane trip. I didn't drive, I didn't drive, I flew. That's so bizarre. I don't, Molly has been on an airplane to LA and then we lived in LA until we moved to Utah. So that's the farthest that Molly's ever traveled. But I don't remember flying with her at all. She must have been, she must have been good, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> okay, someone asked, why do you always look like you just got done crying? Yeah, that's, Molly just has a sad beagle face and that is just always her. She is perennially woebegone and that's just Molly. Is Molly a troublemaker? Um, not really. Like the, the most trouble that Molly maybe creates is like, she has a really weird eating schedule. Like you give her food and she just might not feel like eating right then and she'll be like, no. And then randomly like at, you know, three in the morning you'll wake up and you'll be like, what is that noise? And Molly's like decided to wake up and walk over and eat all of her food at three in the morning. How do you keep your fur so beautiful? Uh, I did recently give Molly a bath, so she's extra shiny right now. Um, but she, usually I don't really groom Molly that much. Do I give Molly lots of treats? I should give Molly more treats, but I never want to give her treats because she hasn't eaten her food. So Molly needs to eat her food. Molly, if you're watching this, eat your food and then I'll give you all the treats that you want. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I, I give her treats often. She probably gets a treat every day. Do you run the house when Stacy is gone? No. Sadly, when Stacy is gone, Molly starts to howl. And I don't know, sometime I'll capture it. It sounds like a dying seal. She does this beagly howl, like, oh! And uh, one time a neighbor actually came over and was like, is your dog dying? And she was just sad. So I try not to leave very often because um, I don't want Molly to be sad. Lastly, someone asks Molly, what is your Hogwarts house? I think if I had to choose a house for Molly, I think she would be a Hufflepuff. I think Molly would strike me as a Hufflepuff. Um, anyway, that is going to do it for the Molly Q&A. So yeah, my second book, Wild Rescuers Escape to the Mesa comes out tomorrow. Please go buy this book and support me. I'm gonna show you guys a picture from the interior. My favorite picture of the entire book. 
uh, features Molly the Little Diva. This is kind of spoilery, but if you've made it to the end of this video, I want to reward you. Links will be in the description for the book. It is uh, pretty much anywhere that you can buy books tomorrow. Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Target. It's also available on Amazon. Uh, it will be on my shop, but probably not for a couple of months. So please buy it in one of those places. Uh, this week, if you can, would help me so much. But yeah, here's my favorite picture. This is Molly right here and me. And this is um, this is us in the book. How cute, I just love that she's in the book. Anyway, I'm gonna go, that's gonna do it for today's Monday vlog. I'm actually going to my first book signing uh, of this book tour that I'm going on. Uh, links for that in the description as well. I'm coming to 10 cities over the next like 20 days. So look for me there if you can make it out. I would love to see you. Uh, but yeah, I gotta go. So until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.